Chapter 12 Whoever loves instruction and correction loves knowledge, but he who hates reproof is like a brute beast, stupid and indiscriminating. A good man obtains favor from the Lord, but a man of wicked devices he condemns. A man shall not be established by wickedness, but the root of the uncompromisingly righteous shall never be moved. A virtuous and worthy wife, earnest and strong in character, is a crowning joy to her husband, but she who makes him ashamed is as rottenness in his bones. The thoughts and purposes of the consistently righteous are honest and reliable, but the counsel and the designs of the wicked are treacherous. The words of the wicked lie in wait for blood, but the mouth of the upright shall deliver them, and the innocent ones thus endangered. The wicked are overthrown and are not, but the house of the uncompromisingly righteous shall stand. A man shall be commended according to his wisdom, godly wisdom, which is comprehensive insight into the ways and purposes of God. But he who is of a perverse heart shall be despised. Better is he who is lightly esteemed but works for his own support than he who assumes honor for himself and lacks bread. A consistently righteous man regards the life of his beast, but even the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. He who tills his land shall be satisfied with bread, but he who follows worthless pursuits is lacking in sense and is without understanding. The wicked desire the booty of evil men, but the root of the uncompromisingly righteous yields richer fruitage. The wicked is dangerously snared by the transgression of his lips, but the uncompromisingly righteous shall come out of trouble. From the fruit of his words a man shall be satisfied with good, and the work of a man's hand shall come back to him as a harvest. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but he who listens to counsel is wise. A fool's wrath is quickly and openly known, but a prudent man ignores an insult. He who breathes out truth shows forth righteousness, uprightness, and right standing with God, but a false witness utters deceit. There are those who speak rashly, like the piercing of a sword, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. Truthful lips shall be established forever, but a lying tongue is credited but for a moment. Deceit is in the hearts of those who devise evil, but for the counselors of peace there is joy. No actual evil, misfortune, or calamity shall come upon the righteous, but the wicked shall be filled with evil, misfortune, and calamity. Lying lips are extremely disgusting and hateful to the Lord, but they who deal faithfully are his delight. A prudent man is reluctant to display his knowledge, but the heart of self-confident fools proclaims their folly. The hand of the diligent will rule, but the slothful will be put to forced labor. Anxiety in a man's heart weighs it down, but an encouraging word makes it glad. The consistently righteous man is a guide to his neighbor, but the way of the wicked causes others to go astray. The slothful man does not catch his game or roast it once he kills it, but the diligent man gets precious possessions. Life is in the way of righteousness, moral and spiritual rectitude in every area and relation, and in its pathways there is no death but immortality, perpetual, eternal life.